Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of May. Okay, this is for May, for Aquarius, May 2020. What do we have for Aquarius? This is not old energy. This is something that is coming. You could choose to think that it's old energy because you don't want this to happen again if it's already happened. But this is something that is coming. So I thought I'd clear that up right now. What do we have for Aquarius for the month of May? One card, please. Woman holding heart. Could be dealing with a Queen of Cups. Now this could be you as well. So if you are the masculine, you are dealing with a woman who has a big heart. This woman is uh, in your vicinity. She is around you. She is... Uh, she may not be giving her heart fully to you because she's afraid. Okay? She's afraid. If you are the woman watching this, then it's you with the big heart. You have a big, huge heart. And you may be reluctant to give it away, okay? Because you've been hurt. So it goes either way. So we definitely have a woman that has a great big heart here. Looks like it may have been ripped out of her chest in the past. So she is holding on to it. She's holding on to her heart, waiting to give it to somebody who is worthy, okay? She's waiting for somebody who is worthy. She's beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. And she's a huge, that heart is huge. Has some scars though. It does definitely have some scars. So, whoever this woman is, she takes good, a lot of pride, okay? She takes a lot of pride in her appearance okay she is very lovely she she is very loving she is very gentle she is very kind her goal is to help others um she's her goal is to help others um express their feelings and open their heart but she's been hurt a few times in her past so anyway you are definitely dealing, if you are the masculine, you are dealing with a woman that has a big heart and she's very, she's very generous. She's very generous. She's compassionate. Okay. If you are the woman watching this, this is you. This is you that has this compassionate heart that is reluctant. You know, you're reluctant. You want to give it away, right? You want to. This woman wants to give her heart away. She wants somebody to see how big her heart is. And then once that this person recognizes it, and she will, she will. So what do we have for Aquarius? Nine of Pentacles reverse. So this is insecurities. We have somebody here that is insecure. They may have, be insecure on the inside. They could be having financial difficulties right now. This is also somebody who doesn't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone or I don't feel like I can be alone. I just don't want to be. Um, not enjoying life's uh, lonely times, put it that way. Ooh, the Empress reversed. Now, the Empress reversed is somebody who lacks nurturing, uh, doesn't nurture, doesn't take care of her children. Uh, these, now, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Okay, it really is. So we got somebody here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, is selfish, is smothering, um, is very needy. So you, I don't know if you're dealing with a mother or you're dealing with somebody right now that is very, very, very needy. Now, the Empress in Reverse is a feminine, okay, that is so needy that she chases. She chases men. She's doesn't know her value. She needs attention she and she'll get that attention but it won't be positive attention it'll be negative nobody wants her 
okay this is this is somebody i don't know if you're dealing with this person now but this person has no value to add she is so self-centered self-absorbed she doesn't she doesn't take care of her anybody you don't even take care of herself so i don't know if you this is who you're dealing with now uh the empress doesn't really care she has affairs okay she's she's um needs constant attention so we, I don't know. We got this woman that is holding a heart. It came out upright. It looks like we have two women here. Okay. It looks like we have two women here. We got one woman that has a huge heart. This woman is caring. Okay. This woman does nurture. She is very caring. Then we have this woman over here who is smothering and childish and not very laid back. A bitch. Okay. This woman is bitchy. So, hmm. Knight of Wands reversed. So the Knight of Wands reversed. Some of this somebody doesn't have any staying power. When the going gets rough, this person gets a going. They get looking. They look elsewhere. Acts recklessly. We have somebody who has a chip on their shoulder. This person thinks that they are so fucking hot. Excuse my language. They do. They do. This person thinks that they are so hot. And this is hot. Okay. So they do. They think that they are. They got a chip on their shoulder. So we do have one feminine here that has a big chip on their shoulder. Um really thinks that they are king or queen shit or whatever they want to call it. Um, a show off. We have a show off here. One woman that is a show off. But this is moving away from that person. So you're probably moving away from that person. Or the person that you're dealing with is. There could be a separation with a nine of pentacles here. There's a lack of stability, a lack of security with this person. This person is very, very, very insecure. So we definitely have an insecure feminine here. Very insecure. You know, and it could be the same person. It, it could be. It could be the same person because this woman isn't giving her heart away because it's, it's, see all the scars? It's been hurt. It's been damaged. We definitely have a woman here that is very, very insecure. And this is moving away, though. Moving away. Um... From a third party situation. I feel as though. I really. I mean it could be the same woman. But I really feel like this. there's two women here. I think we have a woman that is. Uh, what do you call it? Promiscuous. She cheats. She's a cheater. We have a feminine that is a cheater. Here. She uh, has one night stands. She doesn't know her value. It's her, the only way she can get attention. And, and she thinks that she is sly as hell. Okay, she probably may go to people's houses at night, something like that. Um, she may say she's with going over to her friend's house or she's hanging out with friends or something like that. And she's it's a big lie, just being honest with you. Anyhow, I feel like that we do have this uh promiscuous woman. This is a promiscuous woman, she doesn't definitely doesn't know her value, she doesn't bring value to the table, she doesn't. Uh, like I said, when the going gets rough, when, when she doesn't get attention, this is like a narcissistic woman. Okay. It is. So when she doesn't get what she wants, she needs attention. She goes and gets it and she probably has sex with others. So we have a cheating woman here. Anyhow, let's get back to the story. Um, now this is a termination gossiping. This party is over. There's been a lack of emotional growth and there's moving on from this person. Somebody's going to be moving away from this person. Could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Ah, get prepared for an arrival. There's a higher power involved here. Somebody is dealing with an ex or a wife or uh, some uh, it could be a wicked stepmother because of the empress in reverse could be a stepmother or the mother of their children or somebody that is a nasty bitch. This woman is a bitch, okay? Somebody's in a commitment with a nasty individual who is really hard to love. This person is very hard to love. Um, likes to fight, likes to blame others, doesn't want to take ownership, thinks they're a princess, but they're not. 
get prepared to uh, be divinely guided in some way to move away from this relationship. You're going to be moving away from a relationship. There is, and, and you know, this, this woman doesn't care if somebody is married. She don't care if there's, if they're married or not. She's, she doesn't, she's very selfish. She needs attention. She don't care if you're married, she's going to have sex anyway. So I feel like there is going to, somebody has acted recklessly and I feel as though there's a higher power that is going to show something hmm. because this is foresight. Get prepared, get prepared for something to happen. Hmm. Suddenly, suddenly. Oh, get somebody's going to be judged. They're going to be found guilty or they're going to be wanting to move on from that bad choice. Uh, There's no chance. There's no chance of reconciliation. There's no chance in, in working with this person. Somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They've been being dishonest. Get prepared for something to be revealed. Somebody is moving. Somebody is moving. They are. There's gonna, they're going to be dealing with some sort of opposition. I think there's somebody at a distance as well. Somebody that is at a distance that may have been hiding may show themselves. They may show up suddenly. They may show up and reveal the truth about this person. There is going to be some movement for sure with the chariot and the six of swords. Somebody is moving away from a uh, real shallow, selfish, self-absorbed, uh, needy, bitchy woman. And I feel like they are headed towards another person that is more loving that's the way I feel so I feel like in May there is going to be a an arrival that you did not expect or a departure it could be a departure a departure or an arrival with these with this card this card and this card okay it is whatever it is it's moving forward it's moving to a better place moving away from this person that that pretended they were with your friend this is a departure it really is this is this is parting ways from somebody that that cheated somebody there whoever cheated i feel like they're getting caught i feel like they're getting caught or the truth is coming out. They're being found guilty because this is being found guilty. Moving. Moving. Moving away from that relationship. Moving away from that commitment. Being divinely guided. You got to protect yourself. You got to focus on their future. You got to turn your back on lies. You got to see it for what it is. You got to see who you're dealing with. So I feel as though you need to, and this person is going to see, okay? The person that is on the outside is going to see that they are dealing with a woman who is, uh, you feel like this woman is a whore. This whore is going to be left. This whore is going to be left and she is probably going to be not enjoying the uh, loss, okay? You're not going to be enjoyed. She's going to lose, okay? She is. She's going to lose. It's her loss. <laughs> okay, this feminine is going to lose. 
She didn't care. She didn't care if this person was married. She didn't care if she was married. She didn't care if she was in a commitment. She was very selfish. She was very self-centered. And now she's being left behind. And I feel like she's being left behind because whoever is leaving her behind is headed towards somebody that is more kind, is more generous, has a big heart, is more looking for love, looking for a relationship. So Aquarius, I feel like in May, there is somebody that is about to take action and leave behind um, a real bitch. Good luck.